Hey everyone, look at all the pretty colors. We are going to play with this last canvas for me for the weekend. And I really want to use up some of these paints. My bin is getting there. <laughs> I still have 16 over there, but we'll try to use some of them today. So I'm going to do um, two and a half cups because I want that half cup for touch ups. And we're just going to do our greens and blues and our sea mist pearl. That's all the white I have left. Um, that's plenty, I'm sure. And I do have one metallic here that's peacock. Um, I need one more squirt. I use a spray bottle to water my paints down. That way I can control how much water I'm doing in there and not put too much in. That's perfect. Okay, and then I have a sea mist pearl here that we've been using in paintings and it's been beautiful. So, uh, turquoise, uh, emerald green. This is an aqua, uh, bright blue. I believe this is a Prussian blue, uh, phalo green, and this is a green metallic as well that we're going to use that up. So, I'm going to spray my cups with my WD-40 silicone spray. This is not going to be a flip cup, it's going to be a dirty pour. So a lot of you that are new probably don't know the uh, terminology yet. <laughs> flip cup is when you flip the cup over onto the canvas and let the paint fall out. Um, dirty pour is when you pour your filled cup mixed paints um, onto a canvas. But you'll learn it. I was so confused when I first started. I was like, what does that mean? So if you join um, Acrylic Pouring Basics on Facebook or Acrylic Pouring on Facebook, they have files and terminology and everything to help you understand better. So head over there um, if you're just starting out. There's tons of people to help you. I think we have... Um, 16,000 people on our group there's always someone to answer a question for you and it's usually within the first three minutes that you post it so if they can't help you um, you can always email me or get a hold of me through Facebook at Christina Welch Art and I'll answer it for you okay if I have an answer <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm since I'm doing a dirty pour um, I want to end with a dark color, so I'm going to start with this. So I have a lot of paint, so I don't need a ton in the cups. And I'm going to follow that with light blue. I have no place to dry paintings out here so it's like hoping they quit dripping tonight so I can take them in the house all right let's follow that with the sea mist pearl and we're gonna get some greens in there now and we'll follow that with the peacock teal metallic I do a lot of paintings with greens and blues together okay we'll do aqua And phalo green, uh, emerald green. This will dry much darker. I like to have a darker two in each four for contrast. Uh, and then we'll go with this green metallic. 
Well, I really did fill that other cup, didn't I? <laughs> I may not need it. That's all right, I'll throw it on another canvas and play it to music. Okay, so before I put these last two colors in, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with white. I never run out of white, so this is a first for me. But I didn't make any more for today because today was use them up day. But I just want to tell you something. <laughs> um, these colors here, this yellow ochre, has been in this bottle since the beginning of October. And it still works and it's still fine. All I have to do is shake it a little bit, and it works just fine. So when people tell you don't let your paint set, poppycock. They're fine. They have PVA in them, and they have, um, I'm going to hit this with Seamus once more, and Floetrol, and they're just fine. If you don't trust them, strain them, but I don't have a problem. Okay, so I'm gonna do my phalo green. And my bright blue. I have plenty of blue in there. I still have red sitting there from my disaster earlier, so I might have to post that video on uh Facebook on my page it was awful absolutely awful so I set that cup aside because I don't know if I'm going to need it oh I probably should stir these mm. Let me take it out of this one I just make a star stirred that one there because I know I'm gonna I have to do something with it so all right so we'll get our canvas back in frame <coughs> <coughs> sorry this weather is not very nice today it's rainy and yucky and I've already sneezed about a hundred times and now I'm coughing because it's all draining oh well Oh, that cup's pretty. Okay, let's go. Now, if you're just joining me, I don't just pour this way. Sometimes I do do the lines and make it pretty, but lately I've just been swirling, and I've been loving the outcome. So you can do it any way you want. There's no right and there's no wrong. And when you use the silicone, you get most of your paint out of your cup. So I'm going to set that right there for a second. There. And where will we go with this one? That's pretty right there. Since I started there, I want to start down here. And I didn't see, oh, there it is there. I was going to say, I didn't see the white. <laughs> that green metallic is right there, though. Oh, and the runoff is so pretty over here. What a shame. Okay, so now we're going to torch it. I'm just getting air bubbles out and seeing if any cells come up. Okay, now we're going 
going to tilt. So after I've torched, I like to look at the canvas and see what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. But because there's so much paint on there, I'm going to have to get rid of quite a bit. So I think I'm going to take it this way first because I love what's going on here. So we will move it around just a little bit to get the paints blended and we're going to start tilting. And I always bring it back to the middle so you don't stretch your shell your yeah, your shells, your cells out. You see how that put those cells right back. Now, let's go this way. And I'm bringing it back to the middle to go this way. There's a lot of green in here. It's actually pretty. The metallics. Of course, they will sink. You get a little bit that stay on top, but most of the time it sinks. There's still a lot of paint on here, but I don't mind leaving a lot of paint on my canvas. I haven't had any problems with it. I'm more um, looking for a design than worried about how much paint. Okay, lost my white, but I kind of like this. I don't, I don't have anything that's this green, so this is actually interesting. I wish I could just dry them instantly, you know, so you can see what they look like. Because you might want to do another one just like it. Um, and if you um, really want to do that, you should journal. Um, what colors you use and how much you use and I have my videos to go back and look at so I don't really journal anymore that was one of the reasons that I started doing videos and you get someone that says oh I want that painting but you've already sold it you can go back and look to see what colors you use and of course you'll never get the exact same painting again but at least the colors would still be the same Nothing new, but it'll change overnight because the metallics will start to sink. Let me just get my edges. And I'll bring you up for a close up. There's quite a few cells in there, but this is a little spot here with this caterpillary thing. That's going to be cool to see what that looks like when it's dry. Uh, this is kind of boring over here. But it's changing already. These weren't here just a minute ago, so. <laughs> but yeah. It'll be cool. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you're new, please um, click below and subscribe. Click on the bell and you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Um, click like and share this video with your friends or in another group, I don't mind. Um, leave a comment if you have questions. If it's just a simple question, I can answer it right here on YouTube. Um, if it's more detailed, you can reach me at Christina Welch Art on Facebook and I'll help you as much as I can. Um, I don't have any secrets. I share everything that I know. Um, so really, if you want some detailed explanation of how I do something, um, just bear with me. It may take me a day to get back to you, but I will help you as much as I can. So with that being said, I would like everyone to have a very nice evening, and I will see you on the next one. 
Bye, guys.